The Oriental Institute Museum Special Exhibition, Making Sense of Marbles, Roman Sculpture, the OI, presents to the public for the first time the OI's complete collection of classical sculpture. The majority of the collection was excavated by OI archaeologists at the site of Ptolemaeus in Libya. Located near the modern village of Ptolemaeta, this culturally diverse Mediterranean coastal city was founded in the 3rd century BC, likely by Ptolemy III, the third ruler of Egypt's Ptolemaic dynasty. As one of the five cities of the Pentapolis of Cyrenaica, Ptolemaeus prospered during the Hellenistic period and Roman era, and continued to be occupied through the Byzantine period. Carl H. Kraling, OI director from 1950 to 1960, identified Ptolemaeus as a potential site for excavation during a survey of the area. After securing permission from the United Kingdom of Libya, which had recently been established in 1951, the OI led three excavation seasons at this prominent port city from 1956 to 1958. Kraling's team focused on three complexes within the ancient city walls. The first, a Roman villa with a colonnaded courtyard and lavish banqueting rooms that were decorated with inlaid marble floors and mosaics, many of which, following excavation, were displayed in the Ptolemais Museum where they remain today. The second complex was a private residence located along the Street of Monuments and which had been transformed into the seat of the city's highest public official. And the third, luxurious city baths, which included marble-clad pools and colonnaded porticos. Within these complexes, the expedition revealed large quantities of marble sculpture, ranging from decorative monumental statuary to reliefs honorific portraiture, and inscriptions. A selection of these finds was granted to the OI by way of the Legal System of Partage, or the Division of Finds. And in October 1957, after the second field season at Ptolemaeus, the OI Museum opened an exhibition of Roman sculpture that featured some of these objects. Kraling marked the occasion with the following words. Chicago does not have a representative collection of classical sculptures, and it is difficult to obtain them at this late date. In Libya, thanks to the splendid cooperation of the representatives of the young Libyan government, it is still possible to excavate and obtain good pieces. With luck, and with the support of our members and friends, we should be able to find still others and give to Chicago more of what it needs of monuments of classical art. In addition to the ongoing Ptolemaeus excavations, Kraling looked to the antiquities market to supplement the collection, purchasing sculptures for the OI in the course of the 1950s. The current exhibition, Making Sense of Marbles, features for the first time this full collection of Roman sculpture, the OI, those that were excavated and those that were purchased. Having been discovered through scientifically controlled archaeological excavation, the works from Ptolemaeus present an unparalleled opportunity to understand the diverse roles that sculpture played in the lives of the city's residents. A veritable highlight of the exhibition are two life-size marble statues of the second century AD. This pair was once displayed in the city baths at Ptolemaeus for a late Roman and Byzantine audience. The Roman works acquired from the art market lack the same type of archaeological information, and so their study is limited to research into their ownership history, technical examination, and stylistic analysis. As confronted in the exhibition, the data provided by these methods often produce as many questions as answers. Sixty-five years after they were first on view in the galleries of the OI Museum, we can appreciate the OI's collection of Roman marbles in a new light, conscious of their complex history. We welcome you to join us in doing so 
to dig into these object stories and confront challenging questions as you experience this eminent and atypical special exhibition at the OI Museum, on view from September 15, 2022 through March 12, 2023.